The Queen's absence from Archie's christening hinted at royal tensions with Meghan Markle, a book claims. Archie's christening took place at a private chapel in Windsor Castle on July 6, 2019, when he was just two months old. Christenings are typically important events on the royal calendar, with all the senior members of the family attending to watch the very symbolic ceremony take place. The small group of pre-selected press that typically photograph the family walking to and from the service were barred from participating, with Prince Harry and Meghan opting instead to release a couple of lovely photos to mark the occasion. They showed the proud parents holding their baby boy surrounded by loved ones, including Prince Charles, Camilla Parker Bowles, Prince William, Kate Middleton, Meghan's mum Doria and Princess Diana's sisters. However, one quickly notices a couple of notable absences, namely the Queen and Prince Philip, Archie's great-grandparents. The official reason was that she had a prior commitment and, in fairness, had also not attended Prince Louis christening in 2018 either. But a book released a year later in 2020 reveals that Her Majesty's conspicuous absence from the official ceremony portrait suggests underlying conflict. The book Royals at War the untold story of Harry and Meghan's shocking split with the House of Windsor provides a possible explanation. Authors Dylan Howard and Andy Tillett claim that the christening came after years of tension between the Queen and the Sussexes, and that she was sending an explicit message by choosing not to attend the high-profile event. They wrote, pointedly, the Queen and Prince Philip stayed away. They had been generous and understanding at their best. But they simply now felt publicly embarrassed by Meghan's controlling behavior said a well-placed palace insider. Another news, the Duchess of Sussex was revealed to have ranked top of all royals in a study to have the most talked about royal hairstyle on record. Meghan Markle's messy updo for her wedding to Prince Harry in May 2018 took the top spot in new findings to establish which royal hairstyle has been the most popular. A new study of Google Trends data has shown that many royal watchers were keen to replicate Meghan's hairstyle, as searches for royal hair skyrocketed to 244% above average giving the Duchess the most talked about royal hairstyle on record. The timeless chignon style was crafted by Serge Normand and was accessorized with Queen Mary's bandeau tiara, as the pair tied the knot at St. George's Chapel. At the time, the updo was described as being simple, unfussy and slightly undone and was also said to be inspired by 1960s style icon Audrey Hepburn. A spokesperson for Longevita commented on the findings, despite stepping down from her role as a working royal in 2020. This data shows that Meghan is an established style icon within the family. It is a testament to the instant popularity Meghan experienced when she joined the firm, that her wedding hairstyle is more popular than any other. Research conducted by hair experts Longevita found that while Meghan swiped the title of most talked about hairstyle, she was closely followed by her sister-in-law the Duchess of Cambridge. Kate's half-up half-down wedding hairstyle worn during her nuptials in 2011 has claimed the second spot. The wedding made history in more ways than one, and notably in this case, because Kate broke protocol and wore her hair down, a move that broke a 350-year-old royal tradition. She wore it pinned slightly up, with most of it down towards the back, also known as a demi-chignon for her wedding to Prince William at Westminster Abbey more than a decade ago. Created by hairstylist James Price at Richard Ward Salon and incorporating the beautiful Cartier Hill tiara. It saw searches for royal hairstyles rise 217% above average, the second highest amount in the study. The Duchess of Cambridge also claims the third, fourth and fifth spot in the study. Her hairstyle of simple blow-dried waves, shown in the clip of her and her family clapping for carers in May 2020, is the third most popular royal hairstyle of all time. Searches for royal hair skyrocketed 165% above average as a result. In fourth place is her blow-dry look during her appearance outside of the Lindo Wing after the birth of Prince George in July 2013. This particular style saw searches for royal hairstyles soar 162% above average as people rushed to emulate the simple yet classic look. The fifth most talked about royal hairstyle of all time, causing searches to rise 131% above average, is Meghan's sleek blow-dried wavy locks during her engagement announcement to Prince Harry. Other members of the royal family had their hairstyles in the top 10 as coming just after Meghan in the list is Princess Beatrice, whose wedding hairstyle saw searches for royal hair rise 127%. Her hairstyle took inspiration from Kate's wedding look, as the 33-year-old wore hers styled into loose tousled curls, and was paired with the Queen Mary diamond fringe tiara. The youngest royal on the list, Princess Charlotte, caused searches for royal hair to rise 124% as a result of a photo released in June 2020. The picture, released to mark Father's Day, 
Saw Princess Charlotte showcasing natural lighter highlights, sending royal fans into a flurry of excitement. The Duchess of Sussex is up to for her interview with Oprah Winfrey that sent shockwaves across the globe was watched by 17.1 million and subsequently made Meghan's hairdo, the eighth most popular royal hairstyle of all time. In ninth place, causing searches for royal hairstyles to rise 188% above average was Kate's updo for the 2020 Remembrance Day service. While the 10th spot was claimed by another royal wedding-themed hairstyle, this time with Princess Eugenie's classic bun causing a 113% rise in Google searches.